Hello! Welcome to another installment of T3 Off the Cuff. That's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna call these these series now of me just having to get on here and rant immediately and not even sending it to my editor. Um so yeah, sorry guys, this is not gonna be as polished and witty as it normally is, but you've already read the title here. Um I'm going to be talking about the new moon swatches because I want the views. No, I'm just kidding. But but seriously, there is something funny about this. Now, when the moon swatches were first announced, I was on here saying, hey, this seems kind of cool for around 200 bucks. People can have the experience and, and feeling of owning a, a piece of orological history Um even though they might not have the means to own a, an actual speedy, right? Um, then, as as the scalpers and resellers started to take hold, and then when you realize that it was really just a botched release and no one could could really get their hands on it at all, um, I was like, okay, this is starting to get really dumb. Uh, and then, you know, some of the cases started like like leeching like color onto the people's wrists and then it was like okay so they're they're kind of gross also and weird and stupid and dumb and people are trying to sell them for thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars so when there was an announcement that this new uh speedy moon watch shining gold whatever they called it came out or was going to come out people went bonkers hey another opportunity to get one and then lure it over people's heads and then sell it and yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna make thousands well guess what guys um i know i'm a little bit behind because this was announced like a while back but i just want to show you for those of you who don't know what it looks like man how cool like super dynamic they chose this kind of like white like uh, white kind of like custardy case but like this really like interesting um Again, super dynamic, playful dial. Uh, I gotta say, this is this is honestly perhaps my my favorite of the bunch. Except for the fact that this was something that was going around on Instagram and it doesn't actually exist. This shout out to Hodinky, uh, the cucks over there. Um, this is actually what it is. This is the new uh, mission to Moonshine Gold or whatever. Um, yep. So really all they did was, um, they, so here's the, here's, here's the big selling point right here. Yep. That's second hand. So, Hey, that's, that's exciting. I don't know about you, but whoo, that's exciting. That is exciting. Me is it exciting you. Cause it's, it's exciting me. So, um, by the way, it's 5 31 PM. So, I mean, we kind of just did get down to business, but I got to tell the time because that's kind of my thing here. So uh, these moon swatches are super dumb. Uh, I thought they were cool initially. Now I think they're just really dumb. So uh, everybody who is, it's dumb on both sides, okay? Let me be clear. Everybody who's been hyping these up and saying like, yeah, 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 uh, those people are dumb. And then the people that are also super disappointed are like equally dumb because to be super disappointed would mean that like you were also one of the people that was like, yeah, moon swatch. So it's like, you can't really like, you shouldn't have had very high expectations for these. Cause these are kind of, they're just toys. They're like little collectibles. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a toy guys. So stop taking it so seriously. It was dumb. I, st I stand by it. It's dumb. And so there you have it. Uh, I'm enjoying these off-the-cuff series because it makes me feel like I'm actually talking to someone. All right, guys. I love you. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman. The time teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Bye-bye. How do I stop recording on this? Oh. I'm a little new to this. <laughs>